What are you doing here? Back at the calf. Didn't seem like yourself, so I was a bit worried about you. That was ages ago. Well, I know, but you ran off so quick I thought you'd gone home. Took me a minute or two to realise why you weren't opening the door. Look, I, I know we've not seen each other since Christmas, so if seeing me today has upset you... Well, in the nicest possible way, get over yourself. This isn't about us. Oh. Oh, right. So I'll just head off, then. Are you sure you're all right? I don't want to talk about it. What wanting and needing, they're two very different things. You sound like you've been reading some self-help books. <laughs> it's just something my nan used to say, although she was talking about putting the heating on. Come on. You said that it was time that we forgot about what happened with Mina, that we should move on. Yeah. I don't think I can. Is this about Liana? I didn't want anyone to see me like this. Because for once, I don't want people's sympathy and kindness because I don't deserve it. Not after what I did to that family. And I can't think of anything worse than what Liam's going through. No, me neither. I know what I said earlier, but there's not a day goes by when I don't think about what could have happened to Dawn. And I keep seeing Liana. You know where I found her when she was... After what Mina had done to her. And I don't think I'm ever going to be able to forget that. No, I doubt you will. <laughs> Look, um, it's really kind of you to check in on me, but you don't want to stand here listening to me blab on. That's all right. Look, this has affected everyone. Everyone, that is, except for the Ice Queen. Even Kim. Though I doubt she'd admit it. Is everything all right between you two? Honestly? I've no idea. There's that much stuff going on in Kim's head at the minute, no matter how hard I try, she won't let me in. Well, isn't this cosy?